Welcome! This Swell Pro tutorial video demonstrates how to use the Splash Drone 3 Plus Balance Charger and how to care for lithium batteries. This video applies to chargers with version 4.0 software. The software version is displayed on the startup screen of your charger. The charger software can be customer upgraded. If your charger is not running the latest version of software, you can download software from SwellPro.com. Upgrading the charger software ensures you're using the best charging programs for your batteries and charger. Please watch the video carefully. There are important tips and precautions at the end of the video to help you get the best life and safety from your lithium batteries. Let's start by charging the LIHV drone battery for the Splash Drone 3 Plus. Plug in the charger to main power or a suitable power source. Connect the balance charging cable to the balance socket port of the charger. Then connect the battery charging cable with the large XT60 socket to the output ports of the charger. Pay careful attention that the color of the plugs match the color of the sockets. The red plug is positive and the black plug is negative. Then connect the battery to the balance charging cable and XT60 plugs. Push the stop button repeatedly to cycle through the charger menu until you reach memory load. The charger's memory load menu stores preset charging programs for your Swell Pro batteries. Push start to confirm your selection. The first menu item, 01, is to balance charge the LIHV drone battery of the Splash Drone 3 Plus. Each program page displays the settings being used. LIHV means high voltage lithium battery and the batteries are clearly marked LIHV. 01 is the program number. BAL indicates that this is a balanced charge program and each cell in the battery will be monitored individually. 4S indicates a four cell battery. 7.0A means the charging current is seven amps. Press the start button briefly to select the program. Check the charging information and then press and hold the start button. The charger will sound a tone and check the battery and connections. Then the charging program will begin. If the start button is accidentally pressed during the charge program, the program parameters will flash. Do not change the charging parameters as the battery may be damaged. If you haven't changed any parameters, you can press and hold the start button again to continue with the selected program. If you have changed any parameters, press the stop button and return to the memory load menu and reselect the program you would like. Do not leave a battery unattended during charging. If you must leave during the charging process, press the stop button to end the charging program and disconnect power to the charger. When the battery is full, the charger will sound a tone and display full on the screen. At this point, press stop. You can charge another battery of the same type and continue charging or change the settings to charge other battery types. Do not charge different battery types without changing and checking the settings. During charging, you can press the plus or minus button to view charging and battery information such as cell voltage. Now let's go through the steps to charge the LiPo remote controller batteries for the Splash Drone 3 Plus and Splash Drone 3. Replace the charging cable with the JST charging cable, which has a small red rectangular socket. When connecting the JST charging cable, pay careful attention that the color of the plugs match the color of the sockets. The red one is positive and the black one is negative. Then connect the remote controller battery to the balanced charging cable and JST socket as shown. Be sure that the wire colors of the battery cable match the colors of the charging lead. Push the stop button repeatedly to cycle through the charger menu until you reach the memory load menu. 
Press Start to confirm your selection. Press the plus button to scroll to Memory Program 02. The screen shows the parameters for this charge program. LiPo means lithium polymer battery, and the batteries are clearly marked LiPo. 02 is the memory program. BAL indicates that this is a balanced charge program. 2S indicates a two-cell battery. 2.0A means the charging current is 2 amps. Press the Start button briefly to select this charging program. Check the charging information and then press and hold the Start button. The charger will sound a tone and check the battery and connections. Then the charging program will begin. Do not change the charging parameters as the battery or charger may be damaged. Do not leave a battery unattended during charging. If you must leave during the charging process, press the stop button to end the charging program and disconnect power to the charger. When the battery is full, the charger will sound a tone and display full on the screen. At this point, press stop. You can charge another battery of the same type and continue charging or change the settings to charge other battery types. Do not charge different battery types without changing and checking the settings. During charging, you can press the plus or minus button to view charging and battery information such as cell voltage. How to charge the older LiPo batteries used for the Splash Drone 3. Replace the charging cable with the XT60 charging cable. Connect the battery charging cable with the large XT60 socket to the output ports of the charger. Pay careful attention that the color of the plugs match the color of the sockets. Then connect the LiPo battery to the balanced charging cable and XT60 plugs. Push the stop button repeatedly to cycle through the charger menu until you reach memory load. Press start to confirm your selection. Press the plus button to scroll to memory program 03. The screen shows the parameters for this charge program. LiPo means lithium polymer battery. The batteries are clearly marked LiPo. 03 is the memory program. BAL indicates that this is a balanced charge program. 4S indicates a four cell battery. 5.2A means the charge current is 5.2 amps. Press the start button briefly to select this charging program. Check the charging information and then press and hold the start button. The charger will sound a tone and check the battery and connections. Then the charging program will begin. If the start button is accidentally pressed during the charge program, the program parameters will flash. Do not change the charging parameters as the battery may be damaged. If you haven't changed any parameters, you can press and hold the start button to continue with the selected program. If you have changed the charging parameters, press the stop button to return to the memory load and reselect the program you would like. Do not leave a battery unattended during charging. If you must leave during the charging process, press the stop button to end the charging program and disconnect the power. When the battery is full, the charger will beep and display full on the screen. At this point, press stop. You can charge another battery of the same type and continue charging or change the settings to charge other battery types. Do not charge different battery types without changing and checking the settings. During charging, you can press the plus or minus button to view charging and battery information such as cell voltage. Let's review how to prepare batteries for storage and how to use the charger to rectify some battery faults. In the Memory Load menu, programs 04, 05, and 06 are used to prepare batteries for storage and to rectify some battery faults. The storage programs automatically charge or discharge the battery to reach the optimum level for storage and can also help rebalance battery cells if the battery reports an error. 
You should use these programs whenever batteries are not going to be used for a few days, as this will prolong the life of the batteries. For Splash Drone 3 Plus LIHV drone batteries, select program 04 and press Start. Check the charging information and then press and hold the Start button to start the program. The charger will sound a tone and check the battery and connections. Then the storage repair program will begin. If the start button is accidentally pressed during the charge program, the program parameters will flash. Do not change the charging parameters as the battery may be damaged. If you've not changed any parameters, you can press and hold the start button to continue the preset program. If the parameters are changed, Press the stop button to return to the memory load menu and select the program you'd like. Memory load program 05 is used for storage and repair of the 2S LiPo remote controller battery. Memory load program 06 is used for the storage and repair of the 4S LiPo Splash Drone 3 battery, not LIHV. Use these storage programs to maintain your batteries when you aren't going to use them. Storing any lithium battery fully charged decreases its life. The storage programs keep your batteries at the optimum charge level. If you don't use your batteries for a long time, perhaps for the winter season, make sure you use the storage charge programs once every three months to refresh the batteries. This will help to maintain the batteries in good health. For batteries that report a charging error, the storage repair function may help but not all batteries can be repaired. Please refer to the Charger User Manual for more details. Please review the following safety information. Thanks for watching.